what the heck is this thing? What does it do? Well, I'm gonna show you what it is and what it does, so stick around. All right, not that long ago, I did a video review of some One Wind hammock gear that I've, I had been starting to use. I think this was like November of last year. So there'll be a link at the end of this video to that video if you wanna check it out. Well, One Wind um, sent me this thing. And what is this thing? Well, it's pretty interesting. Um, if you are a, a tarp camper or a hammock camper and you use tarps, uh, one thing that you may or may not struggle with, um, especially if you're new to the whole tarp thing, is setting up a ridge line. This is a quick deploy ridge line reel, and I'm going to show you how this thing sets up. Um, it's kind of innovative, something different, um, and I think some people will find benefit in it. So let's take a look and see what this thing does and how you use it. All right, so. When you're setting up a ridge line for a tarp, um, if you're not familiar with knots, um, it can be kind of a daunting task, especially if you're just getting into setting up tarps and doing hammock camping and, and things like that. And I understand that we all kind of go through that phase of learning, um, and I certainly recommend that. I think you need to know some of those things because devices and uh, gear fail, and it's good to have backups, and it's good to know how to do things. But also, there are times when I want to set something up really quick. Now, for my gear, um, I use a continuous ridge line for all my tarps and hammock camping setups. I found that that is the best pre-made uh, ridge line method for me. Works really well. Go out on YouTube, do some searches on continuous ridge lines. There's a lot of different videos on how to make those and how to use those. They're very quick. They're lightweight. But one thing that always happens with cordage is there's always a possibility of tangling it, um, of it getting messed up in your pack or your gear. And um, you know, if you're pulling into camp and it's starting to get dark, you're tired, you may want to set up your ridge line pretty quick and get your shelter going. Um, and this may be the answer. I don't know. So it certainly is interesting. So we've got this bright orange plastic housing, and this is the actual reel. Um, you can see that this thing turns, and that reels the, the cordage back up into, into the device. Now the cordage that they're using on this is very similar to AM steel. I don't think it is real AM steel. It may be something a little bit different, but it's very close. I believe the specs are a 250 pound working load on this. So that should be plenty for a tarp setup. So how do you use it? Well, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to take off the provided carabiner. Okay. And you're going to put that on the very end of the ridge line. There's a loop already tied into it, okay? So that's your first step. Step two, you're gonna pull out some cordage. You're gonna wrap around the tree. And then you're gonna clip that carabiner onto the cord. So what we're doing is we're creating um, an anchor point. This is, everything's gonna anchor off of this. So you don't need really much more as far as knots or anything like that. That's pretty standard. That's the way a continuous ridge line works, kind of the same way. You clip it to the string that goes around the, the tree, and that's your second step. Next step is we're going to reel this out to the next tree over that I've already picked out. Okay, I'm going to start reeling this out. And I'm going to move these prosecs down with me. I'm going to move there's three prussic knots on here, prussic loops. It's one, two, three. I'm gonna take these two, the one with this little gizmo, and I'm gonna move these with me as I go down that way. So follow me that way.
All right, so here I am. I've went around the tree, and what I've done is I've just, I'm putting this reel on here temporarily. This has a cleat built into it, and see that? So when I pull that around the tree, and I just wanna store this while I'm working with those other pieces. So I'm just gonna wrap it around the cleat. Reel this in a little bit so it's kind of out of the way. And you don't have to worry about it getting super tight right now. That's not the purpose. Okay, so that's just holding it temporarily while I figure out what I'm gonna do next. So, come over here. We're gonna do that. Now I've got the Prusik loop with this little gizmo. So what are we gonna do with that? We're gonna come around with the ridge line. Now what you can do is you can actually pull this tight, as tight as you need it to be. Because with the Prusik loop, when it's going a certain way, it will tighten on itself and hold. When it's being pulled the opposite way, it loosens and then it slides freely along the line. That's why I was able to uh, slide it down. When there's no tension being put on it, it slides down easily. But as soon as you put tension on it, the Prusik actually constricts and turns a little bit and that creates pressure and then it tightens and it doesn't allow it to slide anymore. So I'm going to go around again on that U shape. I'm going to make sure your ridge line is level. Now I'm going to come back down and I'm going to go in the V. And the V portion has teeth. And that is going to lock the string. And I'm going to do it twice. And then I'm going to come back up. I'm going to go back over that U again, just as a safety precaution. Bring my reel around with me. Okay. Now, if I want to tighten, I can pull on the Prusik, but I really don't need to, because now it is locked, okay? So now I have the reel. What do I do with this? Well, you could let it hit the ground, but that's, that's silly, because what's going to happen is you're going to get grime and stuff inside of it, and you really don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel up the excess, like this. And I've got these cleats, so I'm gonna take advantage of those. So I got the cleat at the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the string that's coming out of the reel, I'm gonna wrap it around that cleat a couple times. And what's that's, what that is going to do, it's going to stop the reel from un, un, unwinding, right? Do that a couple times, and then I can just hang this like that, and that is out of the way. It's safe. and it's not in the dirt. So there you can see it. You can see where the, the, the cord went around the U-shape, came back around to the tightening, and then went down into that V, and that V have teeth. And they're just enough to grab the cord. And then I went through that a couple times just as a safety measure. And then now my reel is hanging. There's the cleat holding the string so it doesn't come out of the reel anymore. Okay, so now we have the ridge line complete. Prusik, we got one of these. We come down here to this end, we got one of these. So like I was saying before with Prusiks, 
see how they slide? If you're not familiar with the, and how to do a Prusik, learn how to set up a Prusik. They're, they're, they're one of the most invaluable knots um, out there. And I, I really enjoy using them. Uh, they're very handy, especially when setting up and building ridge lines. But this thing will slide either way because there's no pressure on it. But if you put load on it, it constricts and it puts pressure and actually starts to kind of uh, kink the knot a little bit. And then now it holds, it can hold weight. All right, I've actually got two products here from One Wind. Um, this is uh, their rain poncho. It's cell nylon, but it's set up to actually use like a tarp. This is their, what they call kind of like an emergency tarp, or it can be even used as a footprint. Um, these are both small in size, uh, both very lightweight, but perfect for a day pack um, as like an emergency emergency shelter. So I'm going to try and set up the uh, poncho version and see what that's like. Um, I haven't set it up as a tarp yet, so I'm curious how that's going to work, and we're going to use that with the, with the new Ridgeline from One Wind. So sill nylon, very lightweight. And we've got a tab in the center because what I want to do is I want to set this up as an A-frame. So how am I going to hook this tab to that prusik loop? Well, there's two ways. The easiest way is to get yourself a couple of decent carabiners, small ones. Um, these are, they're not bad. Um, I would try to find something that has maybe a little bit more of a uh, load rated. These are uh, more of the uh, garden variety dime store kind, but they will work for this demonstration. So with this carabiner, we're gonna hook it into the loop. Hook that. And what I want to do is I want to put this over my ridge line. Put that in. Alright, so there's the poncho across the ridge line. Now it's loose. So what I want to do is I want to take these presses and I'm gonna I'm going to start pulling them out until I get it tight. Okay, I moved the poncho from the center tabs to the end tabs because the poncho is just a little too uh, short or not wide enough to actually do a good A-frame. You're not going to get a lot of coverage. So this is probably going to work better um, as a lean-to style. So I re-clip to the end. So now, same deal. Nice and floppy, right? So you're going to start pulling the trusset. It's now are nice and tight. And then what you can do is can center that helps you center it on the ridge line. You can move those prusiks and adjust uh, how how centered you want it. Okay, so I've got a a line set up. A guy line for my tarp. Now with this guy line, I'm sure you all seen these. These come on with most tents these days, very common tensioner. There's the loop that's going to go around the stake. On this end, I've tied a loop. See if I can make that behave. So what you're going to do is you're going to run your loop through the webbing loop on the tarp. You're gonna pull that through just a little bit, okay? Then you're gonna take this end of the line and you're gonna come back through. 
and you're gonna pull that line all the way through and then what's gonna happen is as you pull that it's gonna tighten on itself and now it's attached to adjust these tensioners just pull the top loop either through or the other way. So I'm going to lengthen this a little bit. I don't need that much line uh, for this tarp. It doesn't have to be quite that long. Get my stake out. These are the Walmart brand Kuglin stakes. I replace mine with a uh, high-vis cord so I can see it a little bit easier. I like these because they're inexpensive. They're just as good as the MSR groundhog stakes and they're way cheaper. And if I lose one, it's not a big deal. I go to Walmart, buy a new one. So not a bad little setup, um, you know, for case of an emergency, you've got something you can set up really quickly in your day pack to keep you dry get the rain off of you, block the wind when you're having your lunch, whatever. And that reel just made it so easy. So now I want to pull out that other tarp that I was showing you. And there'll be set specs going down below with all of these, these setups. So you have to kind of compare and see the differences. But I want to look at that other tarp and see how much bigger it is, or maybe it's the same size, I can't remember. Um, but we'll take a look at that one next. Really small package. I love Sil Nylon for lightweight day kits. Um, they just make a lot of sense. All right, kind of what I thought. These are the same size, it looks like. Yep. Exactly the same size. So, <clears throat> If you're interested in the tarps, you got two options. You got a poncho version or you've got just a regular tarp version. Now the tarp version is cheaper than the poncho. Um, but here is the, what I'm thinking. With these two together, you've got a more of a shelter system now. Because um, you can hook these up on the same ridge line could overlap one of these with a clip to prevent rain coming in. Do it that way. A couple clips and now you've got um, an actual a large A-frame. So maybe you're hiking with you know your wife, your girlfriend, a buddy. You know one one person could be carrying the poncho or maybe both are each carrying a poncho or whatever. But now if you combine those two, you can make a bigger shelter. Um, if you noticed, I said there are two methods for hooking this to the presser loop. You can either do it with a carabiner that you bring and provide with you, or you can use another method, which is using stuff that we find along the way. And that is the stick method. Now, um, I've seen people suggest this, use the stick method. One thing to note, and sometimes uh, they fail to mention this, you really want to use a green stick. Uh, you can use dry sticks, but they tend to break. So a green stick is going to have a little bit more um, give and strength to it, and it's not going to snap under the weight. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. You run your stick through your, your webbing loop like that. And you take your prussic, and you go down one side, down the other. And now, just like with the carabiner, I can pull nice and tight. And now you don't have to bring a carabiner. Pretty simple. So overall, I like this system. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, 
you know the orange reel um, is interesting you certainly not going to lose it when you drop it and I'm sure that's the intention of it it'd be kind of cool if they had a couple versions maybe that were in um, subdued colors as well because I do like subdued stuff um, when I'm doing some other types of camping uh, all right guys thanks for watching the video I appreciate it as always, please uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell uh, icon for notifications if you are so inclined. Um, please check out the affiliate links down below to the Amazon store. Um, that will be in here in the Amazon store, so you can check it out there. Um, also, make sure you check out the Facebook group that is getting bigger and bigger all the time and Instagram. And then if you're interested in any of the prepared wanderer swag like patches and stickers those are on the big cartel site all links down below and i'm going to get out of here and i will see you next time on the prepared wanderer thanks for watching